whatever. I'll just click play. Yo, thanks for the congrats. I appreciate it. Uh, it took too long. Use of fortress door. Activating security tank. Yeah, this is gonna be quiet, I think. I'll just turn it up on here, fuck it. This should be good. It's gonna be like semi quiet, but I gotta make sure I'm awake for when it's the end because I gotta turn it down. I scream so loud. <laughs> it was like 5 a.m. and I had no care in the world. Yo, Crash. Happy Saturday or er, Sunday, indeed, not Saturday. What the hell am I talking about? So honestly, this escape wasn't too bad. I wasn't really focused on escape being good, to be honest. Like, I just booted in the game and was like, fuck it, dude, let me just play. And here we are. Well, that's not too loud. I don't think it is. I always have my mic cranked, so... Yeah, I pretty much tied my escape. I wasn't... At this point, I was just kind of like warming up. I was just expecting things to go wrong. Wish there are certain nitpicks that could have went better. I took like a week and a half off this category. This is definitely not PB pace. We're already behind out of escape. I should have reset. <laughs> That was some jank movement. That roll jump's kind of finicky because sometimes it feels like you land too far. And I didn't even spin at the right time. And then I pause here just to get this door to open up quicker, but... Speaking of breaks, yeah, I took like a week and a half off of this game. I just got sick and tired of playing it. You know, I was having fun with Jack X, and I was just like, screw it, dude. Like, I got nothing better that I want to do. So it's like, you know, why not freaking go forward and have some fun with Jack X? Well, again, that guy got instantly annihilated. Oh, Crash, this isn't a real run right now. Like, this is just, like, pre-recorded, because I already PB'd. I'm just playing the recording. Right there, I left the zoomer in front of the door, because it's easier to get on quicker. Save some time instead of, like walking at the door and trying to find something. Yeah, that's like one of my chiller playlists. A lot of the ones that I have on Spotify, um... They... they're not bad. They're just like, I don't play them all on stream, like certain ones, I just keep to myself. I'm trying to find the right volume for this. I think like, 8 is fine, but I keep fucking with it, there.
Yeah, I can refund you, Crash. Freaking, I messed up my movement there, but I didn't really care. I was more or less happy that I got all that first try, to be honest. This is just your typical freaking go in the for uh yeah, fortress. Yeah, this is a, the second place one, yeah. I'm so happy about it. Like it just, I don't know, it just genuinely took way too long. It's like seven minutes off a world record. There's no way I'm going for world record though. I'm already like done. I'm like frig. It feels nice to just be where I'm at now. This is just the typical roll jump and good movement. I played this level a good many a times and nothing really changed about it. It's mainly just trying not to fall off this. These two platforms falling off are just like the worst thing. Nah, I'll still be on Jack Games for sure. Yo JP, thanks for the lurk. No, Jack games are my thing. I'll, I'll be definitely on them for a while. Yeah, no problem. Studying is always fun when you can just like vibe to a stream. If anything, I might just like learn Jack 3 or something now, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to do. Because I've only learned like this game in Jack X. I think at th I, if I remember correctly at this point I still wasn't looking at my splits. I had my splits way over on the other far side of my monitor. I wasn't really paying attention to them. There, I just had bad driving. I just couldn't do anything about it. Couldn't get a zoomer. And this is just your typical point A to point B drive. Fucking... This this mission's equivalent to like playing GTA and having them be like, yo, go drive in the hood for 10 minutes and have fun and then drive back. It's literally the same type of mission. You drive from here to there. There's a lot of mistakes that happen in this run. So expect that. I also have my breakfast, so if I don't talk for periods, it's because I'm eating. <laughs> it's like 9 a.m. I haven't slept. Literally running on no sleep, and I'm eating my breakfast because at least I'm getting food in myself. That, that guy just shot the hell out of me. The guards were kind of on point on this mission, I'm not going to lie. What can you do, you know? 
Like, they are literally going ham. They do not care. As you can tell, they fucking do not care, dude. Got a zoomer right off the bat, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> and this is just scattergun, freaking bang bang, gun go boom boom. That's all I could say about this. On the bus right now, so can't stay for long, but unless you get to stream, you know, I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. That means a lot. Even when people are busy, like, that means even more. Yo, Tio, how's it going? It's okay, you don't have to worry about it. Technically, it was supposed to end on that gold, but I was a little slow. So at this point, it's just like... Alright, we just learned how to shoot gun now we go shoot things again after just shooting things we're going to do what we just done <laughs> although I'm keeping up with my golds which is pretty nice everything is like pretty pretty solid to be completely honest for like oh I should mention at this point I cracked open an energy drink and it was like half gone so like I was running on that, but like, there's still half of it left for like, the rest of the run. I think I finished it by the time I got to like, scouts. I think that's when I finished the rest of it. Which, we'll get to that later. That's another thing. Mortis is the one that has like... Well, he's the one, like, that's made my overlay and banners down below and stuff like that. He's really good at that stuff. That happened. <clears throat> I didn't really care. I didn't even feel like changing my vehicle because it wasn't even that damaged. When I seen it was barely smoking like that, I was like, fuck it, I don't really care. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of mortis, there he is. Bro, I'm eating breakfast, like, and it's cheese, egg, and bacon on a bun, and the bun's toasted, and I'm living life right now. Here we go. This mission's boring as hell. Did my emos get revamped? Um, they've just been ones that I've had. I've had 30 before I've even hit affiliate. And I can't even use like all of them. So I've just been like rotating the ones every so often. When I feel like I just want to change type of thing.
Yeah, y'all should eat breakfast. God damn it. It's like the most important thing. Like, you could have like... I don't know. Sometimes even when I don't feel like I'm hungry, I just make like toast or something. Slap some peanut butter, like Nutella on it. I don't know what I was thinking here, now that I'm watching this back. I don't know why I broke that box open and didn't grab the health. Did I go back? I don't even think I went back to grab it. Yeah. And I needed it. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna question myself. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this game makes me laugh. Myself makes me laugh. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, watching this back, goddamn, my, uh, Jack 2 quality looks so good, but my Jack X quality looks like ass. That's so weird. I wonder why. See, you know how it's like the trick is to not hit the pipes? Bro, what if there was a chance of Sig like missing and hitting the pipes? He's like, damn it. I gotta recharge. <laughs> Bro, I would slap the hell out of him. Here is pretty much stand still and let the gun do all the talking. Ben, that's probably true. They're trying to run the game in like 60 FPS with like how fast you're going. That makes sense. I need to get a uh, fucking OSSC. That way everything looks better. I'm looking around, nothing spun, and I'm just a like, cool. A rework for my Twitch, oh boy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. So I came out of SIG with an extra five seconds. Mainly because at the start, he was able to get on the platform very quickly. Whereas sometimes Sig just does not know what to do. And the platform will be at the bottom and he'll look at it and it'll rise up and then he'll like jump on it when it's at the bottom. Oh, I, oh Crash, I wasn't speedrunning at all. I didn't fucking... I didn't do anything. I played Jack X, that was it. I wouldn't really call it speedrunning, like time trial is sure is like kinda of speedrunning, but I didn't play this game, I'll tell you that much. I kinda wanna learn how to make emotes too. But I've never been a good like artist, so I'm just not good in that field. <laughs> Another boring ass GTA mission where you drive from point A to point B. And then back to point C. Oh, 
I ain't gonna lie, updating your Twitch to like overlay and stuff like that's like the hardest thing. Cause like <clears throat> after a while it just becomes a staple. Like I think this test overlay is like a staple now for me. It's like just that's how everyone knows this channel by. Like they just like see tests and they're just like, oh okay. Yeah, and all weekends to point C. Like, if you're talking about the character on the profile picture from my Twitch, I have no fucking clue, dude. I just typed in fucking Halloween anime. And that was like one of the first, like, few pictures that popped up on Google Images, and I was like, god damn, that's a nice photo. I copped it. <laughs> Animated emotes, bro, I have to hit partner first. Is it possible? Maybe. <clears throat> I just fucking punched the zoom. Now, this is a kind of a shit thing to watch. Um, this split did not go good. At all. <laughs> At all. Nothing went good about this split. When I noticed that, was that one hit, I was like so scared, I pulled out my gun. But then I was wondering if I was gonna die here or not. So we get past that turret. Fucking get stuck there, so that I lose a little bit of time, because I don't get a roll jump. At this point, I'm hoping none of these guys jump and hit me while I'm ledge grabbing, because then I'll die. I got stuck there after the roll jump. Grabbed some health so at least I felt somewhat safe. And... Yeah, I lost like... 13 seconds or so. Yeah, I have a very bad cold right now. <clears throat> Wednesday is very bad, but it's all in my nose. Nice fucking recording glitch. But yeah, like my allergies are pretty bad. I don't even think it's my allergies, I genuinely think I'm just having a head cold and it sucks. At this point I knew I'm just big chillin'. Like I was 11 seconds ahead and I'm like only 3 seconds behind, I didn't really care. I was just la like, I'm laying back in my chair like playing the game, like whatever dude. We were like... Freaking vibing out. Yeah, I'm so like if I was coughing and such, nah. That would suck. But then again, you know what? I'd rather cough than have a runny nose and such, to be honest. But that's just me because I hate like runny noses and stuff.
So at this point, it's just another freaking bang bang, gungo boom boom. But easier because the gun's better. I have allergies. Usually I get like a head cold around this time of year in the autumn. behind on points but it was whatever I didn't really care this is a semi quick blast of course so that's all that matters so I seen the freaking Hellcat Jr. and then I see the zoomer behind it and I'm like there's no way in hell I'm taking that fucking three-seater No problem. Thanks for the freaking congrats again and stopping by for like being busy and such. I really appreciate it. Now here's where tables turn. My how they turn tables when you get lucky. So at this point I was kind of pogging out. I kind of like sat up a little bit more in my seat. And realized the run is now getting a little bit more serious. Because getting the zoomer over the wall like that is pretty rare. <clears throat> like it took me 2 minutes and 25 seconds on this split. Or well, it took me like... I think this initial split was like a minute and... 30 or something and it walloped me out by like I had like 20 seconds to fuck around with now 0.7 off the gold so it was pretty much tying it so at this point I was kind of just like okay this act one is kind of good now I had one freaking bad mission that was it so at this point I'm just kind of like okay just gotta go with the flow I guess Yo, Jordan. I don't need that good luck anymore, dude. This is the run. This is just an offline recorded run, dog. I'm just chilling, relaxing while the run plays. Yeah, no problem, Crash. Hope you have a freaking good one, dude. Yeah, you'll have your channel points. Don't worry about it. I'll get that stuff sorted. See, like, the preferred color, I'd say, like, the same color as, like, my split color, but I feel like I'd mess everything up. Like that purplish. It's so weird looking at, like, my monitor and then looking at OBS because, like, on my screen, there's nothing in the Twitch chat box, but where it's, like, on OBS where I'm streaming it, that way like chat is on the actual screen while the rum plays, it looks so different, it looks weird. Because I don't see that on my monitor, I just see like the box empty. But yeah, it, it feels nice to be able to sit here and let a two hour rum play. And I can just sit here and vibe. We're doing per like at this point I was kind of like 
thinking to myself, like, no, like I looked at my golds and I'm like, okay, I'm pretty much on pace, like, with, uh, like, something. Like, we're cooking with something in Act 1. Like, 27 ahead, and I'm, like, thinking, okay. I, I like, I, what's running through my mind right now, at this point, is literally... I know I have time saving Myra's Tomb. I know I have time saving Underport. And I know both of that's like. Added up is at least two minutes. So it's like. I wasn't too worried. Like I knew like I could go like a minute and a half behind. And still like PB. Oh don't worry Jordan. I'll be learning Hundo soon. I'll experience the pain with you. Jack had auto aim on this split, I swear. Like, this split just went by like nothing. The dude just, like, I swear, Jack literally hit everything there, like, perfectly. My man's actually used his gun correctly. The training course fucking paid off. <laughs> this split's stupid. I don't like it. Um. I was a little rusty because, like, not playing this game for, like, a week and not practicing, like, anything. My aim was actually kind of bad. Like, look at it. It's all over the fucking place. I didn't really care. I'm just at this point, like, just get me out of this split. There's that. Pretty much you just need a death warp as quick as you can. Save the most time. So now it's... Pretty much... Torn and then Ashlyn. Literally from point A... To point B to point C. Like, it's... <laughs> I lost my movement. That guard got fucking annihilated. I wall bounced off of the fucking corner of whatever that is. Got the hover here, so that was something. And I remember when the day I missed one... One egg was so confused. Dude, I did... You know what I did once? It was an act two on destroy ship. I fucking... When I was learning, like, Lucas' strat, like, he turned the turret, like, when the, when the fucking ship blows up, he restart warps. And when, um, the first time I did it, I did it too early. And so, like, when I went through the gate, like, I just walked by. And I went all the way to, like, Torn, the mission wasn't there, and I was like, what? And then I went all the way back to Vin, and then he, there's him and Kor just standing in there, and I'm like, wait, what? I was like, what? <laughs> and then I went back in the mission and clued in. I freaking restart warp like two frames too early. It was so sad. <laughs> Had to end the run there. I just didn't even play anymore. I was like, fuck it, dude. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but you live and learn. That's why, like, at that res like the restart warp, I just wait for the gate to just open. Or, like, you can hear the gate when it, like, shuts off. And when I hear it shut off, that's when I restart warp. Um, this mission went from good to bad in instantly two seconds. So to anyone who thinks Ashton mission is simple for the pros, I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> uh-uh. I got lit the fuck up like a Christmas tree. I even tried playing it safe. I got ballsy and went for the triple hover and actually got it.
So I got hit there, and I'm like, okay, whatever. So that one was still alive. That guy had, like, a frame to tase me, and he somehow got me. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm at, like, one hit pretty much extra. That motherfucker hits me. And I'm like, bro, I got nothing now. I almost died there. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just playing it safe. <laughs> I snagged all them gems just so I could be above 25. And you know what's funny? After all that happened, I looked at my splits at this very moment, and I was like, how the fuck am I only, like... How did I lose, like, a second? Like, that was the worst fucking Ashland I think I've ever put myself through. <laughs> I didn't even lose, like, any time. <clears throat> A little bit of swag for you. Gotta give Jack a migraine as well. <laughs> Oh, the things. I fucking annihilated- I, I don't know, I annihilated somebody that was on the outside when I was on the inside, dude. They literally got fucking blown up. <clears throat> I think this was bad, if I remember correctly. I literally- I, I- I bounced off the ceiling, I don't know, Jack's head just hit something, and he wouldn't go above the roof. It just dropped me, and I was like, okay, thanks, game. And then this guy was here, so I punched both of them because I knew if I had to get on my jet board, I would have bonked onto one of them and lost more health. So I was like, fuck that. At this point, I was just like, I just want to save time, so I'm just yeeting myself above here. It kind of went ugly. I should have hovered on top of the side, but I went around the corner and was lucky enough to pop one off. Yeah. Now, by the grace of fucking RNG Jesus, I don't know how I managed this one. Like, this camera, I can't see shit. I, I don't know. I'm looking at my map at this point, honestly. Like, that's what I was doing. And then I splatted, and then we're apparently here. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, cool, okay, everything's working out as planned, okay. <laughs> but as I was entering the portal, I was also thinking, dude, like, I, like, dropped this third hover every time, like, so far that I've played this, like, at least once or twice every attempt. So I'm thinking to myself, like, if I fail this fucking third hover, I'm actually gonna be sad. I'm also what's running through my mind is hard locking right there. Cause for some dumb reason the game likes to freeze a lot here. And this is the hover I was talking about. But we got it. You know who I am. We're losing a bunch of time off of like like that junky stuff after I drop my hover going towards forest, which is okay. I wasn't caring at this point. I was only like, dude, like, 12 seconds ain't much for me to really bother about. So at this point, I'm taking my headset off because I uh, this is the split I go and casually smoke loads of pot in because I have a minute of free time. So at this point, I'm standing up, not like really paying attention to my screen. And then I realized I already hit 15k, so I'm like, okay, fuck it, now I gotta get back to the start. And as I get to the start, there's our fucking controller down. <laughs> and it's just a minute and a half, of st or like a minute of just literally Jack standing here doing nothing. Like, what else are you supposed to do on this split, dude? <laughs> I 
I just gotta rem I'm I'm happy for myself as well. I just gotta remember to turn the volume down so I don't blow everyone's speakers at the end of the run because I was screaming at 5 a.m. <laughs> uh, look at Daxter doing his old Jack One dance. Like, it has been one hell of a grind. <laughs> Thanks, Morphine. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Usually around, like, the 22nd mark is when I was back. I think that's when I was just staring at my screen or something. I was staring at my splits. Just like, just like oh, okay. So I looked for a zoomer here, and sadly, there was one, like, behind that vehicle, but I wasn't fucking... I ain't no little bitch, I ain't waiting around. Hopped on that guy's head, punched the fuck out of that guy, because who cares? Frig the civilians in this game, and that's karma for doing that. So I seen this guy up here, and I was just happy. Yo, red gun. <laughs> When I seen that guy up there, that made me like the happiest human because I was like, thank goodness I have a vehicle. <laughs> and it's just driving all the way to Ben. To destroy thy power switches. Uh, this mission isn't bad. I don't know. In, in the speedrun setting, it don't even feel like a mission. It genuinely just feels like you're casually just toying with the guards, destroying their turrets, and just... Because you do it so quickly. But my man Vin over here is going to route the freaking V-Zone power grid. And whatever all that fucking whole spiel is he does. I remember the intro, freaking Vin buddy, we need a favor. And it's the freaking cutscene he goes, Sheesh That's all I remember. Why is FFZ not working? Is FFZ down or something? Like certain ones just aren't working for me and it's actually sad. I'm saying it the first time, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> oh, it's because you spelled it wrong, T.O. Jesus, I was so concerned for a second. I mean, you can just go back and clip it. It's simple. <laughs> it's in the VOD. Big Dickus. Tio can clip it. <laughs> Somebody will. To be fair, at this point, I'm like laying back in my chair, coughing my lungs out. <laughs> I'm not even lying. <laughs> I don't know how that guy didn't tase me. <laughs> but the weed was hitting at this point. Like, I was coughing. I was like trying not to like hit anything. My head is itchy. Everyone's on mobile right now. God damn, maybe I'll clip it. Or maybe no one will ever get to hear me say it again. Sheesh. Ah, it's not the same.
Almost the 420 split. You're only second out of the gold. This movement's probably the best shit you'll see today. Kappa. It really isn't. This movement was terrible. So I tried going for that, and it was too early. So then I said, fuck it, and I got it a second try. <laughs> Did not care. We were big chillin'. I'm just trying to avoid getting shot there, which is pretty painful. But I had loads of time to save here, so I was pretty happy about that. So at this point, I'm like, well, we're big chillin'. <laughs> So Praxis gets the good old first phase fucking smackdown. I noticed the third platform is there because sometimes it really isn't. I'm just happy about that. You can get three hits off right there if you're fast enough. There's four. That's the fifth one. That's the sixth. And these next two are very bad. That, he's literally in the fucking way of the fucking... Like he was, that little piece was literally in the way, like that part of the palace was in the way of my freaking bullet. That was phase two, phase three wasn't that good either. <clears throat> but it's hard to have a good practice one. There goes that. It's somewhere between the 40 minute range, Tio. Like the 40 minute to 45 minute or somewhere. Well, I don't know. In the last 5 minutes. Or 3 minutes or so. So at this point I'm looking for a zoomer. This guy's freaking volunteering his tribute. He eats fucking dirt. And then I just do that typical restart warp that I normally do. Just to save part of that drive. Instead of driving to Cree, you can just spawn there. Save him easily five seconds or so. Now this split, uh, yeah, hell. So, my zoomer just hit the bottom of that ramp and just immediately exploded, which I was so unexpected to me. I wasn't panicking or anything at this point. I was just big chilling, like, what the fuck is going on with my game right now? Why is everything treating me so shit? <laughs> but then I, like... I don't know, everything around here just started to go normal. Like, everything just started to fuck off. All the guards just started to become, like, stormtrooper aim and everything. Yeah, this is kind of a hell split, but it smoothened out. Like, that's the only bad part of it. The rest of it's literally as smooth as this. That start was terrible. But as me being the runner I am, I know that I don't need a fucking good act one. 
<laughs> At least you gave the money back to crew. That was so funny. Yo, do I need to bring the money back to crew? Uh, uh, yeah, that completes the mission. Fuck. <laughs> Mission pass, respect. Yeah, like, look at this. That whole start was eight. The rest of this mission, perfectly fine. Like, I don't even think they hit me. Zoomer isn't even smoking. Like. There's that stupid launch storage. So I lost a little bit of time. I lost about 15 seconds off my gold, which is a little bit. This guy was the only zoomer in sight, so. Yeah, you do what you can. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> Loses five minutes. Oh my goodness, man. It was so funny, like, when, um. Josh was doing his hundo runs, like he made his freaking splits up to Praxis 1 and then when he finished it, like finished Praxis 1, he was like, Yay, I'm done Act 1! And I'm like, there's still three missions left, dude. <laughs> he was like, wait, really? And they're like the most three painful ones, like money, Uber driver, and a hut. Oh my god, they're so bad. Like, Protect Hut isn't too bad. But money in it, freaking shuttle or just bleh. But it's nice that I can help him out as much as I can. I wasn't paying attention at that point. I almost smoked that two-seater with my zoomer. Another thing that's constantly running through my head after every cutscene is, is this game going to freeze? Is this game going to freeze? It always happens. So the split's like... Fucking crazy taxi on fucking 100% steroids mixed in with fucking Walter White's meth. Because the guards seem to fucking just. In God, they're cracked, dude. Like, look at this homie. Homie's standing there with a guard two feet behind him shooting a fucking <laughs> blaster at me. Like, he's just standing there waiting to get picked up. Like, what the fuck? I know that you pee, but I'm still getting nervous. Oh, there's more to come. Huh. If you think this is it, you need to watch the full run. By the end of it, you'll... like. I, it should not be second place. Like This run should have died in like a good many of splits. I'm not gonna lie. I could see the guy in the frame behind me, like the zoomer dude, and I was like, uh, get moving. <laughs> yep, come. <laughs> I bet the guards smell like cum. So, what happened there was, I was in the, the high hover zone, and for some reason, my vehicle clipped like the bottom part or like the bottom part of my vehicle clipped the top part of that like roof so the game thought I like was in the low hover zone so it brought all that momentum downwards with me and I just face plant or like I just nose dived into the ground with the two seater so that's why I had to get rid of that one because it was like almost on fire just from that fucking nose dive which actually sucked, but it was whatever in the moment. I was trying not to panic. Because I knew, like, I had time save on this split, on this guy. Because in my run, I blew up, like, right here. I think it was, like, right here. 
I blew up and this guy was just standing on the docks and I was like stuck trying to find another two seater. So at this point I just dropped this guy off and was like fuck it I'm getting the fuck out of here dude. We're getting the hell out of Dodge. I, I actually did see that zoomer there and I was like shit. So I stole this guy which probably wasn't the good idea. But I figured where I'm wanted on a level 2 anyways, what's the fucking point? Like, you might as well steal what you can. Give it the good old little park. So at this point I looked at my splits and I was like, okay, we're kind of ahead. <laughs> we're, we're kind of ahead. So I was just trying not to hit anything. And what do you know, the first thing I hit is a guard. And then that, the worst freaking corner of my life. Didn't get the launch, but it didn't matter. Kinda, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I was at this point, I was thinking to myself, yo, can't wait to lose all this to scouts, dude. <laughs> Pulled out the shoddy, cause... I wasn't feeling too haughty on the split. Freaking buyers. Failed the freaking extended. It landed in the water, so. Freaking scatter gungle blat. Got the boosted, so there goes that. And that is a 5803 Act 1 rub. Almost a 57. Get a 58 escape and get a 58 Act 1. Ha! Look at that. Consistency. So at this point, it's just drive to Torn and then drive all the way from Torn to the forest to do scouts. So at this point, I'm literally thinking, is this where my run dies? There's a lot of things that run through my head actually while playing this, while I was going to the shadow. And just driving to scouts, I was thinking like... When's the game gonna actually freeze? And like if it does, is it gonna troll me or like... What's gonna happen? And then I was thinking like, what split's gonna go bad? Like right now I'm worrying about like Lurkers 1 and Scouts and freaking everything else. Thinking about freaking Daxter Chase skipping the freaking back of my head, like I gotta do that. Thinking about like, when am I gonna do lab skips? Am I gonna do lab skips? And if I do, how many am I gonna do? Like. <laughs> You know, like, there's so many things that are just running through my mind as I'm driving the places. At this point, I'm just hammering down the freaking gas pedal, hoping to fucking not hit anything. Except for that guy. That was a very wide turn. But yeah, this split's kind of make or break. You can get it perfectly, or like, you can lose 30 to 45 seconds. Or a minute. Or the whole run. <laughs> yeah, it's such a big difference. You can lose freaking, like, 20 to 25 seconds, or 30 seconds, or 45 seconds, or a minute, or a whole fucking hour. <laughs> what a way. Like, what an increase.
Got lucky there and didn't take any damage, surprisingly. A little bit of swag, because I was happy to get the jet board. And now we are entering the start of Act 2. And it was at this point I grabbed my energy drink and started chugging. Because <laughs> it's like 3.30 in the morning, and I'm like... I got two hours left. I know it's going to be 5 a.m. and I got half an energy drink. Nah, like I got to get that down. Otherwise, I'm going to be up all night. And long and behold, I'm up all night. And here's where Scouts goes. I'm just going to keep quiet. Let you guys watch it out. If that fourth one hadn't have given me the runaround, I would have had such a good scouts. But when I looked at my splits and noticed I was still like ahead by fucking 10 seconds, I was kind of happy. Because like, I ain't gonna lie, that fourth one brought me around a lot. Like, that fucking thing went like around the bend, freaking juked my ass out like fucking hell I almost killed the run there if I hadn't paused any sooner I would have felt the void but I got lucky yo pop So at this point, we're just jet boarding Ashland in Ghost Town. It's all dark, nighttime. Everything's all lit up, looking nice. Game running at a solid 60 FPS because there's nothing to get in your way. Clean movement. Gets the hover. I do this that way if you, cause like if you go into the Ashland Mission Wall in Ghost Town, it soft walks your game, or like something happens or it messes with like one of the missions. That was pretty quick. Snag all that dark eco while I can. The worst side flipper in the freaking North America region. point we're just going over to freaking young Samos to talk to fucking him to get this kid to get to the power station 
we gotta escort our younger self to a destination, which it's like, okay, cool. Now, for some reason, on this run, guards barely spawned on this mission, and I don't know why. Like, look at how long I'm staying. Like, typically there's a bunch of guards. Like, look at how long I'm standing here just staring at my screen. I like, I'm like, what the fuck? Where is everybody? Like, there's genuinely, like, nothing coming. I was just like, okay, cool. That guy got the two to the face. Like, instantly. I was looking at my map there to get the two behind me. But yeah, there was like barely any guards on this mission. Kinda gave me a little bit of hope. Apparently my best is a 319.99. I split on a .99, holy. Wow. <laughs> On anime statues, that sounds like something I would do. I'd probably waste it on like fucking... I don't know. To be fair... Not much I look at to buy, to be completely honest. Uh, pretty decent gold. <laughs> Bet to be paid next week. This mission is just, I don't know, shoot all the things in the water. Could have been faster, but like, I didn't really care. I lost all my momentum after I hit the back of that fucking zoomer with my jet board. So I tried doing the rest as fast as I could. I lost like 10 seconds though, which is like whatever. I didn't really care. That mission's stupid. This one's a big one. Big RNG heavy mission is this one for sure. My 
aim was a little bad there. But this lurker decided to get on instantly, so I wasn't complaining. I'm actually going to get more coffee. I'll be right back. Enjoy being able to... Me not be here and still technically play a game. Ha! Huh. Okay, I'm back. And, uh... Yeah. That mission didn't go too well, but... That lurker is one, though. Pretty banging. Pretty fucking banging. So I softlock myself here. I whacked the fucking zoomer. Um... 
as I get on it. And I couldn't control it. So I had to restart the mission as fast as I could. <clears throat> Lost a little bit there, but... Zed was playing Fortnite, oh my goodness. A typical Zed. But Epic got some good games for free. Like Rocket League and all that stuff. I don't know why Jack didn't ledge grab there. There was enough space for him to. He should've. So I got pissed off and punched that guy in the Karen. And then this is just Eco Wells, typical Tony Hawk mission, I guess. I I want to play Drug Dealer Simulator or like Power Wash Simulator or something. They just look fun. Hey man, on emulator, that's how I started freaking learning. I did runs on emulator and then I ran the console. Emulating Jack is kind of hard. Once you get the settings correct, though, it's not that bad. So at this point, we're going to this Dookie mission. Finished drug dealer simulator, good sim. Yeah. One point. Oh, we don't even use like. I don't use one point six. Use like one point seven, I think. A developer build. My man's got fucked up. I don't know why he would come that close. Absolutely annihilated. There's that mission. Gold to buy a fucking point two, bro. Now we're heading to Drain Sewers. Drain Sewers is probably one of my favorite missions. Definitely up on the top for sure. Cause it's a very dynamic mission. That is very fun. Especially when you can use the jet board and freaking douche around. So terrible lineup at the start, but it's whatever.
you work with it. Kind of fell there, which is like whatever. Then I dropped the hover, which is pretty rare, but yeah. I know, wow. I drop hovers, what? It happens. Typically not on this mission, but... Bonked about the walls there. Lost a good chunk of time. I didn't really care though. Mash the frick out of that hover. And that's pretty much just get the crew. Yeah, that kind of went bad. It was whatever, though. <clears throat> Didn't really care. I was kind of vibing at this point. A minute ahead, I didn't really like worry too much. That, I don't know why I did. This mission's easy peasy. It's literally just a straight line hover. It's kinda nice. Yeah, man, just using the biggest of hacks. That's how it be. So that was a problem. Landing on a Hellcat's not something you want to do. Especially when you're going on a mission that you need all your health for. I was kind of petrified at this point. It all worked out. Hmm. 
Now this mission is just a big pain in the ass. Nothing good about it. Pretty much just try not to die. Somehow I managed to handle this car pretty good. I was trying to get into the zoomer, which didn't necessarily work out in my favor. So at this point, it's like, well, do what you can. Took that motherfucker out of my feet. And pain split. Yeah. Started spazzing out because I was like, what the hell? Like, what the frig am I doing? I got the hover and I just said screw it. We'll roll with it. Lost a lot of time from that. Sadly. So, like, I'm technically not really done with this category. Like, I have loads of time save if I get every mission first try. There's still more time to be saved! Nah, I'm definitely taking a break from this category for a long time. So I told myself I wasn't going to do lap skips because I knew I'd fuck them up, so I didn't bother.
I was trying to be optimal to grab two. Like up here after this ramp, but I gave up after a while. Yeah, didn't do any lap skips at all because, like, I just wasn't comfortable. I haven't practiced them in a while. I figured, fuck it, I'm not gonna, like, throw a run away. Who cares? And in the end, I didn't lose that much. Only lost, like, two seconds off my gold, so that's cool. Another stupid mission. This gets me to the door quicker. I knew I was on a good run because I looked at my best possible time when I seen it was a 2.38. I was thinking to myself, like, okay. That's in, like, an hour and, like, five minutes. Okay. And then I was thinking to myself, like, a little bit of eating time here and there. I'm like, hmm. I was like, this run's probably going to be, like, a 2.41. But... Mainly this mission's just a lot of movement, try not to get hit. It's like taking damage in this mission is like kinda painful. It'll bleed into your time if like you die. If you die on this mission, holy moly. Yeah, this one, I had no idea where the fuck they were. Trying my damnedest to stay awake. I'm so fucking tired. I 
I just gotta push myself out for like one more hour. To be fair, I should have streamed this when I like had some sleep, but I just wanted everyone to be able to watch it. Cause I know all the EU people are awake at this time, so it's like the perfect time. Man, I typically don't go live this early, holy. If I'm live ever this early, it's like... Jesus. I must have went live at like 4 a.m. And it must be like I'm still live after like... 6 hours or something. Which would be like so fucking un... Like, that would be like unusual and odd as fuck. Yeah, I know, I feel bad for people that aren't awake for my streams, like... I have like 470 followers and I feel like three quarter of the people don't even get to watch my streams like live because I'm always going live at such degen hours. That like everyone in EU is like four or five hours ahead of me. <clears throat> Which does make a big difference. Like, for me right now, it's like 10 to 11 a.m. Well, for like EU people, it's like 3 p.m. almost. This is like prime time. Maybe I could do reruns, but... I don't know, reruns just feel weird. They don't hit the same. I mean, this is a rerun, but at least it's like I'm still live. Like, the run isn't, but I'm physically live, like here. Oh, you're in Australia, so it's 1 a.m. Bam! Crazy to see how many people live around the world that watch. I love it though. It's so cool. Missions literally mash buttons and get results. Best thing about it. <laughs> so, if you're wondering what the G is on the splits, the G just stands for Ghost Town. Just so I remember what splits to do them on. I can remember a lot in a two hour run, but there's some things that like I might do and then just forget. Especially since I got like two PBs that like... I didn't submit on the boards. I'm missing a bunch, cause like... At this point, it's like 4 a.m. And I was like very tired. Like, I missed 11. Still ahead, though.
even save some time. Honestly, I feel like missing them does. Because it's technically one less point. But genuinely, you want to try to get like triples. They give you like a little bit of bonus points. So like, the reason I was missing so many is because I was like trying to delay out like how many would pop up. See if I get the max amount of points. Also, this went went terrible. I went to get over the wall, didn't try to get over that wall to my left, didn't, and then at this point I'm trying to get above. And guess what? I even fucking failed that. <laughs> No Man's Canyon, that split's bad. At least I know where my time save is in this run. Holy, I could run this run back at like some point in like, as long as I have a good act too. You can hover here, but I figured I'd grind the rail for once. No one really does it. That and one time I hovered too high and this place didn't load, so I've always been weary of it. So yeah, that's not good. Now we're behind. Which, when I looked at my splits, I didn't really care. I know there was like an hour left of the run. There's no... You can't really quit. A lot can happen in an hour. Oh, excuse me. I'm yawning. Holy... Quitting is for quitters, exactly. No, I'm not quitting because it's like I know that I have time saved type of thing. I know I have like a minute, so I'm chilling. I'm only 14 seconds behind, like. Holy, welcome to any percent. <laughs> wow. Here's where things get spicy. So what's running through my head at this point is it's either I get this trick or this run dies. That was a good start. <clears throat> so I put me ahead by eight seconds, and I'm like, okay, cool. Dropped a little too early. I kept getting stuck here. It was so annoying. But I was trying not to fuck anything up. Then I got here, and it was just like, okay, okay. Easy work.
could not see fuck all there, but it's whatever. We made it work. That's all that matters. And we get eight low, which I know that pattern almost by memory, so... That was big chillin'. Because at this point I'm looking at my splits like 147.05, 149 flat, and then I was like, wait a second, and I was like, oh my god, dude, I'm ahead by a lot. <laughs> And also throughout Act 2 I was collecting Dark Ego for um, Dark Bomb on Praxis on his last phase on this fight. I should mention that. I was just like, fuck it. Fuck are you. Goodbye, Praxis. Lick my ball saxis. Let me just get the hell out of here. So at this point I know what I'm doing, like just by like the back of my hand. So that guy was unfortunately there, I still tried to go for it, failed to hover there. I was like fuck it dude, let me just plow through everything. Got some good movement so it didn't even matter. Only problem is when I did this thing here the camera followed me. So I didn't know if this death warp was actually going to work. The game was lucky enough to give it to me. Which is nice. Because that could have um, been way worse. There's this massage pillow that came with my freaking chair when I ordered it like earlier this year and I'm actually using it for once again it feels really nice I typically can't use it while I'm speedrunning this was scary I bonked the wall and went left. Got lucky enough though. At this point, this is the mission that everyone just hates. 
No one has anything nice to say about this mission. For specific reasons. Escorting the three idiots. You gotta love it. Comes pretty boy. Okay, let's do this. One of the most resident sleeper ass missions in the game. Do we have to? There you are. It's like they thought I left. Yo, Beanie. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. This is getting into the more scuffed part. All the freaking boring stuff's over with, this is just any percent. We're not getting any younger. That's probably the most cracked thing I've done in a while, that's about it. These fucking three people, my god, who likes them? Also, yeah, Mondo Crack? <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? Yo, Naomi. <laughs> Mondo crash. Maybe I should learn Jack one now that I've done this. Pet Kappa. I honestly think I should take a break from Jack and just play something stupid. I used to play a lot of PC games like Sea of Thieves and like Payday 2 and stuff like that, but I haven't really touched them like since I started speedrunning.
Yeah, the freaking sessions of Sea of Thieves were like freaking long. I didn't mind it, but after a while it was like, holy dude, we're on a boat for like six hours of this game and two hours we're on our feet. Like, fuck. <laughs> uh, wrapped? I'll have to Google it. It doesn't sound familiar. Mainly what I did when I played Sea of Thieves, like, my friends, like, all we did was, like, go fight all, like, the major people, like, the bosses and stuff that would spawn. Like, the skull that would pop up in the sky, or, like, the fucking... Like, orange beacons and stuff. We just sold it to like Reaper or whatever his name was. And we made bank. I know I can't stream tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving Day for us Canadians. I'm yeah. gonna have family here. I'm gonna be eating a fucking actual full meal for once in my life for the first time this year. <laughs> uh. So when I gold at Bombots, I realized that I'm at class 2 in an hour and 58 minutes. Like, that is amazing. That's quick as hell. I need to get back in to see if these now that I'm thinking about it. I'd, I'd honestly be down to talk to my friends see if they want to do it. Probably should play some casual games for a little bit again. I just don't know what. I'm that odd person that's never played like World of Warcraft or League of Legends. It's kind of funny. Two flat twenty nine. It's a pretty good race. Could have been sub two, but whatever. Round two of going for this. And look at that. Like, I have Killing Floor on my computer, but, like, I don't think I'd be able to stream it. 
Or if I did, I'd have to turn the settings down because I play everything on like fucking ultra. <laughs> and if I tried streaming that, I think my freaking, I think my GPU would actually, or like not my GPU, I think my CPU would literally just like snap, crackle, pop like a fucking Rice Krispie dude. <laughs> it would just fucking blow up. Yeah, it really does. Me and the homies only played the second one to fuck around with. It was kind of fun just like... Using like... I forget what class it was, but you were literally like a tank and you could just use a fucking katana the whole like 20 rounds or something. It was so stupid. And overpowered. I'll look through the games I have on Steam that might be able to play casually. Yeah, I have Left 4 Dead 2 as well. I haven't played that game in a while either. That's another, yeah, that's another banger game that I completely forgot about, Frig. I gotta take a nap though, there's no way I could play anything right now. Like, listen to me, I'm dying out already. It's like. 11 14 p.m. I haven't slept yet. I was gonna do ringless, but like honestly, when I was this far ahead, I just didn't want to chance fucking anything at this point. I was just like, fuck it, there's no point in risking anything if I don't need to. Like, sure, it's free time save, but I'm big chilling. Honestly, this has been like the comfiest stream I've ever done. It feels like I'm watching someone else stream. <laughs> While I stream, but I'm watching my own gameplay. I'm trying to think of other games I played casually. I played GTA, but that game is just the same. Although come Christmas time, I'm always gonna play it just for the snow factor. I love the snow. Like, I have San Andreas. That's cool. Hard game, but cool. That's something like modding it to get it to work, right? I think I have like a game for PS2. It's like Roller Coaster Creator or something. Maybe I'll use that on stream sometime. We'll just. Uh, like. Y'all can help me in chat build a fucking roller coaster. 
that'd be actually kind of sick to be honest to be like build our own theme park Like, I'm not a good freaking architect, but, like, I'm sure something can get built. There gotta be something. Curse Bob Ross would be funny. Kind of picture that one. I don't know what he would paint, but this is genuinely something awful. <laughs> Why does this run have to be so painfully long? I just want to sleep. It's like fucking... Like Bob Ross just has a mental breakdown. The lost tapes of Bob Ross is just him freaking the fuck out. Not gonna lie, I am scared. But I'm still gonna keep quiet. Oh yeah, I forgot I did talk at certain points. I genuinely just scared myself with my own voice. Holy moly. But yeah. I was actually scared at that point. I was kind of shaking. Like, I was getting some adrenaline around this part, because I knew, like, everything's coming to an end after a while. There's only, like, a good handful of splits left before I'm done. Turn that down just before I forget. XW seen my mouse. Wow. It probably isn't too quiet, but. Yeah, it's literally this mission. Getting tased or shot up. It's so dumb. Mission is literally just punch, shoot, and freaking destruction. To guards. That's what makes it good. Mm. 
Now we're getting on to the annoying part of any percent. And by annoying, I mean like... Don't die. <laughs> annoying. Which sounds easy, but... When you haven't played in like, a week... That makes a hell of a difference. Pretty much just driving a VIN, trying not to die. Typical day. Yo, Annie. It's like the second time I messed that up in this whole run, I think. Now that I think about it. Just so whatever, it doesn't lose that much time. Better to do that than to lose a lot. Now here's where things get really fucked up. <laughs> My brain just forgot how to, like, control my hands, I think, at this point. Everything just kind of went wrong there, but it was fine. I was like, I'm not dead, so I guess that's, you know, better than nothing. I appreciate it. Even though this one I already did though. This one was like one that I did last night. I'm just kind of just showing it off right now. It's going to feel nice to actually just take a break and learn more. I feel like once the side missions get down pat, then I'm not really gonna have much worries. Holy, a 111. Damn! Pretty good.
Surprisingly, computers don't well. And after not playing for like a week, I was not comfortable jetboarding this part. <laughs> I was just like, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna take it as casual as I want. I'm a minute ahead. I got nothing to worry about. Which, it almost ended up killing me, actually. Which would have been bad. But I took it too casual. Like here, I should have just hovered over that last one, but I got so hesitant, and I shouldn't have, because it almost killed me. But I mean, I didn't die, so... It's nothing to really complain about. The keeping the lurker storage on a two-hour run is probably the best thing. Instead of just failing that and having to sacrifice another minute. Like, I mean, even if I had have had Driver Shame, I still think I would have gotten second place, but I feel like it would have been, like, just barely, by, like, two seconds. Yeah. Now we're on the Lurkers, too. Everyone's favorite mission, Kappa. Pretty much same old, same old. At that point I just stopped there to make sure that lurker was following me. I was a little weary that he wasn't going to go into the thing because he wasn't really moving on the map so I waited a little bit and luckily he jumped into the freaking thing. That's another thing, I was expecting this mission to just shit out on me. These two weren't that bad. I could have went a little bit better. Still the worst part to have these guys in the freaking water section. Cut down to a 103? God damn. Next you know it'll be sub one. That one worked out perfectly. <laughs> So I was like, cool. We actually had good lurkers for once. We saved a little over two seconds. 
on the gold. So class one. Almost nose dive too hard. That almost damaged me. So far, so good. So at that point, my finger freaking slipped, and I almost like blew up my freaking self in the wall, which would have been bad. Also, this happens. Somehow, by the grace of Andy Gavin and Naughty Dog, they told me, listen, we're gonna give this to you. I am the luckiest motherfucker alive, oh my god. Yeah. That got all of the freaking Hellcats off of me. They all went the other way. It was so funny. Like, look at them. They all got stuck on the map there and they all just disappeared. The good old freaking. I'm going to the side mission stand. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Freaking turn right around. Yeah, guards were not happy about that. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I survived that. I'm so happy I did, though. Theoretically, I should have died. Also, I forgot I was standing on the wrong square. So this did not work. Because I wasn't on the right side. It was like, oops. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. That's such a piss off, dude. That's like fucking 10 seconds gone. I already know why. I've already watched it back. I already know the mistakes I've made and what I can do better. I'm just, I don't care about the category right now to do it. <laughs> I probably should have maybe kept jet boarding, I don't know. Maybe taking a zoomer there wasn't no bad idea. How did I think about it? A 
this odd tendency to just keep punching these civilians. I guess they kind of deserve it. There's a weapon slab finished. Easy work. Your main goal here is to try to get as many of them off the ledge as you can. You can save as much ammo as you can. Simple work. Bro, imagine crew skip. I would fucking imagine. That would be like the best thing ever. Bro, how am I supposed to change the split? I'm not even running. <laughs> like what? <laughs> This is where the run just started falling apart, honestly. I was just withering down to nothing the more this game was going. To be fair, my hands were freaking shaking during this. This mission's so boring.
the fucking boat, mate. This is kind of funny. At this point, I was just like, okay, now my game's just gonna fucking crash. <laughs> Forgot your pizza. Damn. Pretty easy work. How much does a hover at the first chase save? I don't know, Glass Headstrong. <laughs> she probably knows. Saves a decent amount. But I don't know how much. I'm just gonna leave my mic on, but I'm probably just not gonna talk or anything, but... I was kinda expecting yeah, my game. Was a good run. Yeah, here's where I was kinda expecting my game to hard lock. I was just like, yep. It was a good run. I was actually happy with it at this point. Knowing that I was a minute and 30 ahead, I did not care if I had a crash or whatever. I was kind of satisfied with like being back after like a week and being this far ahead to be honest and have like a banger run like this. It's kind of nice seeing some decent progression. It's all I was really looking for. I wasn't really looking to get an actual time. Man, slightly burnt peas isn't that bad.
Yeah, it's pretty insane. Freaking old Samos gets to pound into him, I think, in this one. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, he almost did. We're on the home stretch. I can almost go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's like 12 p.m. My heart been up. is beating so much. My heart isn't beating as much now. It was then. Although, to be fair, I should just mute myself for the rest of the run. Bro, it's a Twitch bot. It's not going on YouTube. What the hell? <laughs> Who's more sleepy, you or me? <laughs> that makes you laugh. Okay, audio is getting like withered down to nothing because I don't need to break people's freaking speakers or like their headphones. Cause so I popped the hell off. It was like a soul and a demon left my body. Come on, game. was intense, not gonna lie. But yeah. Enjoy my pop-off reaction. Let's go! <laughs> Fucking go! Go! It's the go!